Synology Hyper Backup allows you to create data backup tasks on your Synology NAS and save your backed up data to the cloud, a remote Synology NAS, or external storage devices. In this video, we'll show you how to restore and retrieve your backed up shared folders, system configurations, and package settings at any time. You can restore your data or LUNs from tasks or local databases using Hyper Backup. Restore data directly from the .hbk backup file using Hyper Backup Vault or FileStation. Or use the Hyper Backup Explorer desktop utility to browse and backup DSM data to Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, and Fedora-based devices. You'll find the timestamp of each section in the video description. In Hyper Backup, you can restore shared folders, system configurations, and package settings from an existing backup task. Go to Hyper Backup. Click on the Restore icon on the left-hand side and select Data. Select the task that you want to restore and continue through the wizard. If you want to restore system configurations, Choose the desired version from the drop-down menu and go to the next page. Using the timeline at the bottom of the page, select the version you want to restore. Then, tick the desired shared folders and subfolders. On the next page, select the packages you want to restore and click Next. Click Done once you've confirmed the information is correct. The restoration will begin, and you can track its process using the Restoration Progress Bar. The .hbk backup file is a type of packaged file that HyperBackup uses to save all your backup data. You can restore data directly from the .hbk backup file by using the Restore from Existing Repositories option in Hyper Backup. Go to Hyper Backup. Click on the Restore icon on the left-hand side and select Data. Click Restore from Existing Repository at the bottom of the page. Choose the restoration source where the .hbk file is located for cloud services or remote servers. You'll need to sign in to your account. Select the source shared folder and directory of the backup destination. And continue through the wizard. If you want to restore system configurations, choose the desired version from the drop-down menu and go to the next page. Using the timeline at the bottom of the page, Select the version you want to restore, then tick the desired shared folders and subfolders. On the next page, select the packages you want to restore and click Next. Click Done once you've confirmed the information is correct. The restoration will begin and you can track its process using the Restoration Progress Bar. You can browse and restore individual files and folders via Hyper Backup Vault. However, this method does not allow you to restore system configurations or package settings. On the destination NAS, go to Hyper Backup Vault and select All Tasks. When you hover your mouse over the task containing the files you want to browse, Four icons will appear on the right-hand side. 
Click the clock icon to open the version list. Once again, when you hover your mouse over a version, some icons will appear. Click on the magnifying glass to launch Backup Explorer, where you'll then be able to browse or restore your backed up files or folders. The .hbk backup file is a type of packaged file that HyperBackup uses to save all your backup data. FileStation also allows you to browse and restore individual files and folders via the .hbk backup file. With this method, you will not be able to restore system configurations or package settings. In FileStation, find and right-click on the .hbk backup file that contains the data you want to restore and select Open Backup Explorer. There, you'll be able to browse and restore backed up files and folders. Another option for recovering data is to browse and restore backup files using Hyper Backup Explorer a desktop utility for backing up to a remote Synology NAS that can be downloaded in the Synology Download Center. Launch Hyper Backup Explorer on your device and click Browse Backup File. Select and open the Synology HyperBackup.bkpi file on the backup destination. Choose the version that you want to restore by clicking on the calendar icon and selecting the date that contains your desired backup version. Dates with backup versions are marked in red. You can also click on the left arrow at the bottom of the page to find the version you need. Once you've found your backup file and version, you can download it by right-clicking on the file and selecting Copy To. You can also drag and drop files to your desktop or a folder in Windows File Explorer. If you want to browse files on another backup destination, click Browse Another Backup File. With Hyper Backup, you can restore a LUN from an existing task. Go to Hyper Backup. Click on the Restore icon on the left-hand side and select LUN. Click Start and continue with the wizard to select an existing task and destination volume. Click Done once you've confirmed the information is correct. The restoration will begin and you can track its process using the restoration progress bar. Hyper Backup can also be used to restore a LUN from the backup destination. Go to Hyper Backup. Click on the Restore icon on the left-hand side and select LUN. Click Start and select your restoration type. In this example, we selected Network LUN Restoration, Synology Server. Then click Next. Select the source server. Fill in your username and password. And continue with the wizard to select the source shared folder and the destination volume. Click Done once you've confirmed that the information is correct. The restoration will begin and you can track its process using the Restoration Progress Bar. To learn more about Hyper Backup, 
subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching.